In today's video, I'm going to tell you all you need to know to grow and maintain this tropical beauty, Strelitzia nicolai, or the bird of paradise. The Strelitzia nicolai, or bird of paradise, is one of my very favorite large tropical house plants. Its leaves are just big and gorgeous, it's easy care, and it just gives a jungle vibe to the room. Oftentimes on my channel, I've talked about the importance of knowing and using botanical names for our houseplants. This is an excellent case in point for that. The common name, bird of paradise, could refer to a flower, a bird, a yoga pose, or this plant. So it's really important that we at least understand and know the botanical name for this plant is Strelitzia nicolai. Fun fact, the genus name Strelitzia came from Queen Charlotte of the UK. She was an amateur botanist and the plant was named after her. The Strelitzia nicolai originated in the coastal forests of South Africa. It's also known to be native to Mozambique, Botswana, and Zimbabwe. Where this plant is thriving outdoors, it is known to flower. It is exceedingly rare for this plant to flower in an indoor location, however. A note is that the bird of paradise plant that you see on your tropical vacations in Hawaii and those sorts of places is a different species entirely. It is the Strelitzia reginae. One of the reasons I love the Strelitzia nicolai so much is that it is a very easy care plant. There are conditions that it prefers, and if you provide those, this plant will absolutely thrive and continually push up new growth. The number one factor that you absolutely must pay attention to is the insatiable need of this plant for plenty of light. The bird of paradise loves a good supply, many hours a day of bright indirect light. Now it can be acclimated for full sun as well. In fact, many people like to move their bird of paradise plant outside for the summer where it gets a lot more sun and, and growth becomes even more abundant. This plant is absolutely not suited for low light. So do not bring this plant home and park it in a dark corner and expect it to live its best life. The Strelitzia nicolai wants to dry out in between waterings. I allow mine to dry about halfway down the pot. Mine is in a larger pot, so that means that I go several weeks without watering this plant. Now I check it every week with my water meter, but I really don't end up actually watering it for two and sometimes three weeks depending on the ambient temperature and how much sunlight it is getting. In terms of soil, this plant is not terribly picky, but to allow the soil to dry out, you wanna be sure that you are using a light, airy mix. For me, that means my standard mix, which is cocoa coir that I've rehydrated, and I add to that um, orchid bark and perlite. This plant would also be perfectly happy just with an off-the-shelf bag of organic indoor potting mix, so you don't have to get terribly fancy with the soil. The bird of paradise is a tropical plant and therefore appreciates a warm and somewhat humid environment. That being said, it is pretty adaptable. A standard room temperature is perfectly fine. Now, if you are going to move your plant outside for the summer, you wanna be sure that nighttime temperatures are not dipping down below about 50 degrees. The humidity in my house ranges between about 30 in the winter and maybe up to 50 at the highest, and the plant is doing perfectly fine. There's a little bit of crispiness on the leaves, but uh, totally tolerable. I've mentioned several times now in this video that the Strelitzia nicolai is a pretty carefree, easygoing plant, but there are some issues that come up, and these are the most common. Number one is 
yellowing leaves, particularly yellowing lower leaves. Now, if you notice that happening on your plant and you notice the soil is wet, most likely what's happening is that your plant is suffering from either a lack of light or too much water or a combination of the two. So you just need to address those conditions, watering less often, moving the plant to more light, and that should resolve that issue. The second concern that some people have with their plants are curling leaves or drying tips. Now, if you notice those symptoms and the soil is dry, then perhaps the plant is just not getting enough water and that can be addressed very easily. As I mentioned before, sometimes the browning of the tips of the plant is due to lower humidity than the plant prefers. Again, that's a cosmetic issue. It's not gonna cause any damage to the plant. A third very common concern people have about their bird of paradise, Strelitzia nicolai, are splits in the leaves. Now, I'm sorry to say, even though they are not aesthetically pleasing to a lot of us, they are perfectly normal to this plant. These leaves are absolutely enormous, and so splits are actually kind of common. Now the splitting of the leaf could happen as the new leaf is unfurling. If it gets stuck, sometimes that happens as it's unfurling, usually due to lower humidity. Now something that I do when I see a new leaf coming up is I spritz it with a water bottle and just constantly trying to increase the humidity for that leaf. I don't know if it actually works, but it makes me feel better, so that's enough. Sometimes the leaf splits later in the plant's life, and again, that's just normal as well. Some people say that is an adaptation of the plant to be able to handle high winds in its natural environment. My plant doesn't have to deal with high winds, so I don't know if that's the case, but nonetheless, it is pretty common. Two more items that I want to talk about before we finish. Number one is propagation. This plant is most commonly propagated through division. As you can see, my plant has three separate main stalks. So if I wanted to propagate this plant, I could very easily separate one or uh, two of those off and create all new plants. The second and final issue I wanna talk about with the Strelitzia nicolai is maintenance. The number one thing that you ought to do for your bird of paradise is dust the leaves. We've talked about many, many times on this channel how important a clean leaf surface is to facilitate photosynthesis. Now these leaves are enormous. It's actually very easy to dust the leaves. You wanna do that regularly whenever you notice dust building up. Just a gentle wipe off the top of the leaf surface. That process can actually be taken care of in the shower. Sometimes I will move my entire plant into the shower and then just drench it completely, let everything get rinsed off. It, that uh, provides a good amount of water, increases the humidity for the day, and I just let it drip dry. I can take it outside and do the same thing in the warmer months as well. You will find occasionally you will need to trim off some of the lower stems as they start to get droopy. And as the plant gets bigger, it's helpful to also stake the plant up. So put big bamboo stakes in and attach some of the larger uh, stems to the stake. But really beyond that, there isn't a lot you have to do to this plant. As I've described, this is one of my favorite large tropical house plants. It's easy care, it's super adaptable, and I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much for watching my video. If this was interesting or you learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my planty content. As always, my plant friends, let's keep growing together a greener world.